Dear Andy, I am madly in love with you. I've known this honestly since the moment I saw you. When I think of you or when I see you or when someone mentions you, I get this feeling of twisting and turning in my stomach. Like there's a roller coaster in there. You were always the only guy from the popular crowd in my honors classes, so I knew you were special. And you're probably the funniest person on the face of the earth. You're sweet, caring, supportive, confident, and not to mention the most attractive guy I have ever seen. The way you run your fingers through your hair when you're thinking. I melt every time. You're so beautiful, inside and out. God, I can't wait till Hastings finds out about us. I can only imagine the look on her skinny little face when you tell her you're in love with me and not her. I still don't understand why you're dating her in the first place. She's always around you. It's weird. It's just adorable how shy you get around me. You get so worked up, you can't even talk to me in front of other people. But no worries. I see those hidden glances. I catch those secret smiles. That expression on your face when I can tell you're thinking about me, longing to be with me. I have those moments a lot too. I think about you all the time. And it's hard to help it. I can never seem to get away from you. Really, I can't. Everywhere I go, there you are. And that's not a bad thing. I love being around you. I think I would be completely content living the rest of my life watching you. I love watching you read. And I'm sorry if I get jealous sometimes. I know it's dumb. You're so devoted. But whenever I do start to feel the green-eyed monster creeping, I remember our times together. The feeling of your touch. The gentleness when you hold me. The sweetness in your voice when you tell me you love me. Andy, do you know how long I've waited for you? Do you know how much hell I put up with before us? I was burned pretty badly in the past, but that's all over now. Now it's me and you. That's all that matters. You mean everything to me. You're the best. I love you. With all my heart, Sam. Andy, why did you do this? Why did you show her my letter? Didn't you know Hastings would show everybody else? It was supposed to be for you. Because I knew this would happen if people found out we were in love. I don't understand why you did it. I hate being angry with you like this, but that really was a nice Andy. My so-called friends are all gone. I'm all alone. No one will give me a chance. <sighs> My mom got a call from the principal. But she wasn't too happy about it. It hurt. But the one that hurt me the most is you. Why did you yell at me for trying to spend time with you? And why did you call me crazy? And why did you, did you say that you didn't love me? That you didn't even know me? That there never has been and never will be you and me? I'm confused. I mean, what if it is true? What 
if I imagined it all? Where does that leave me? But that's not possible. I can still feel your hand in mine. I can still hear your heartbeat from when I was lying on your chest. I can still feel your breathing from when you held me close. This can't be my imagination. I saw today is not the Andy I am in love with. It's simply not you. This isn't real. There's no way life is really this horrible. I want to go back to where you loved me. Please, God, I want to go back. Andy, I'm coming home. I promise. I will come back to you. Summers, yeah. Whoa.